Okay, so now that you've seen me put together the uh, engine hoist, I need something to hold an engine while I work on it. So before I take that out of the car, I need to put together an engine stand. So again, I bought uh, Pittsburgh Automotive, and this comes from Harbor Freight, but it's Pittsburgh Automotive brand. This is going to be the 1,000 pound engine stand. Figure that's uh, enough to hold either a small block or a big block, probably. So, for start with, I'm actually going to read the instructions this time. And I'm going to take this out and then dispose of the box and keep everything so that you kind of see it together. This is what the box looks like when it's, uh, the top comes off. You've got your main pieces, you've got your uh, small pieces, your bolts, casters, a couple plates, and that's it. So, let me read these instructions real quick so I don't look like such a crazy maniac putting this together and then we're going to get it done. <sighs> Alright, so to kick this party off I'm going to have a little dog walk into the frame because she loves being on camera. Don't you? So you've really got your kind of your everything laid out. So I've laid out all the pieces. You've got two caster wheels that don't have bases to them that will amount to the other piece. I've got two there. I've got a handle. I've got uh, three different size bolts. So basically I've got some longer ones uh, which are like an M8, I think. Got some M10s that are shorter, and then I think these are like M6s or so. Maybe something like that. Maybe a 8, 10, and 12. But they uh, don't, aren't labeled in the package, but there's four of the two bigger ones and two of the smaller ones. And I think by the diagram, I should be able to read it. So the upright goes together here. The long base, now these all are uniquely, I guess, able to see which goes where based on the diagram. I'm going to slide this in, and I'm going to put it all the way towards the back. There's no stopping plate. It'll go all the way through or all the way out. I want to put it in a little bit far so that I know it's going at least back. Now, it does say to use bolt number 10 out of this. Now, there's only one of it, so I'm just going to put it in and tighten it up there by hand tight, and I'm not going to put everything uh, like last time where I'm going to tighten everything all as I go. I'm going to do it all loose assemble and then finish at the end. So the next piece there is going to be the up right here. Gonna my back so I'm gonna set this on here like that. The front, get these out of the way, is gonna go here, and then I just gotta basically put the nuts and bolts in each of those, and then I can start putting on the top piece and assemble. I think it's gonna go very fast based on the instructions. Looks very simple, especially hand hand uh, tightening everything, and then moving on. So. Let me get the bolts in these and then we'll put the casters on and they're pretty easy to do and then it's on the top piece. Okay, so once those are in and hand tight, next you're going to move on to your cast, uh, casters. So I'm going to put the fronts on. Now these come with their own hardware. So they'll just add a very simple go in the bottom. And so, hey, by the way, make sure this is on the right side up and, and otherwise the holes should be down, not up. Jeez Louise. Time to switch that around. All right, now with the front, kind of the cross member turned correctly with the holes down, you could actually put the uh, casters on prior to doing this if you wanted to. You could put them on and then put this, attach these two main pieces together. Your choice. The rears come with a metal sleeve that goes inside the wheel, so make sure you put that in. That acts kind of like a bearing going in. And then it's just going to fit under the back. And then you're going to install the bolts uh, from outside in. That way you don't have a trip hazard with a uh, fastener sticking out. Once you do that, we'll be on, moving on to the next piece. Okay, now it's kind of time to move on to the last piece. Everything's hand assembled. The, uh, the piece that's going to hold and rotate is going to go from this side in the front. The handle can go in either way in the back. And that'll keep this from falling out, obviously. You can just put the plastic handle on all the way. And now there's a, a hole in the top. You can hold it however you want, or you can just freewheel it however you got to do it. And then uh, if there's a pin, the pin that comes with it goes in the top. That will help you keep from spinning. Now it's time to put the arms on. So there's four arms, there's four bolts left. Hopefully uh, I can make that work, that combination. And then uh, we'll finish up that last piece. Alright, so lucky for me, math worked out. Four arms, four bolts and nuts, pretty easy. So you can kind of see there's a, a tip out. This is going to face towards out from the engine stand. The bolt's going to go in this way, according to the diagram. And then it's just got a nut and washer on the back. And you can just flip those to the side or the out, however you want to do it. 
and voila, that's the loose assembly. Now, let's go through like the instructions actually say and, ha and tighten everything down and get this all uh, locked and done. And then we're ready to put an engine on it. All right, so I'm gonna put the engine hoist obviously on its side so I can get to this bottom one. Now the bottom one, I, or the first one I put in to hold in kind of the length into the, or the bottom support, I guess you call it, into the upright. It's gonna be a 19 millimeter socket, so put that in. And that's in tight. So I'm, now I'm gonna stand this up and I'm gonna do these uprights. And actually I can probably do it right here on the side and make it easier on myself. All right, so these are gonna be 17 millimeter fasteners or the sockets and wrench don't put them together. So you can just do however you want to do it. Two sockets, sockets, wrench, whatever you want to do. These are 17. Ooh, good and tight. The old German standard, right? The next I'm gonna move on to the casters here. So these are going to be 14s. Get out my 14 wrench. 15, there's a 14. Way. Bottom here. Gotta get this. I need like some theme music. Any musicians watch this stuff? I need some theme music. Something really good rocking versus the free stuff that everybody has. Contact me. You know who you are. If you're watching. Alright, so with that, I'm gonna get these, uh, I'm gonna turn this upright and get these tightened down. Alright, so that's. That's that, really. Very simple to do. I think it took me longer, obviously, because I'm filming in that, but this is probably 15, 20 minutes put together if you have the tools. These casters here are tightened down with a 19 millimeter. So if you have a, you're obviously going to need a wrench because you can't put a socket in here. But if you have a, a uh, ratcheting wrench that's 19 millimeter, very easy to do. Otherwise, just use an open end or a, uh, the, uh, star point one. Tighten it down. Put it all together and now you can roll this next to uh, your fancy engine hoist that you just put together like I did. And it's ready to go. So again, that was a very simple Pittsburgh Automotive. I think the pretty good stuff so, going together. So that's it. And uh, we will see you next time. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe. Let me know how you like this stuff. I'm going to try to do more uh, tool assembly things as I buy things I need. So we'll see you next time.